Hey there, radio fans. Welcome to a new episode. Today, we are going to start a deep and life-changing exploration of the most important keys to speeding up our success in both our personal and business lives. There are times when we're looking for that one thing that will set our ability on an upward trajectory. Today, we are going to find out together the important things that will help us not only reach our goals, but also go beyond them. First, we know how important it is to have a good reputation. How we talk and show ourselves can open many doors for us and set the tone for how we work with others. After that, we'll talk about self-directed and constant learning, which keeps us at the top of our field. We will talk about how to use self-education in our daily lives so that we can not only do well, but also do even better. After that, we'll talk more about how important key skills are to help you figure out which skills will help your job the most and how to improve them. We will talk about some useful strategies. We'll talk about how important it is to have a strong network of friends. Sometimes what you know isn't enough to get ahead. Who you know is also important. Having the right contacts and keeping them up to date can be just as important as having the right skills. Next, we will talk about the importance of good financial management. Having a solid economic foundation not only gives us security, but allows us to take advantage of opportunities that might otherwise be out of our reach. Delving into our daily habits, we will see how good work routines can transform our productivity and efficiency. These habits are essential for managing our time and resources more effectively. We will explain how maintaining a positive mental attitude can make a difference in how we face challenges and seek opportunities. A positive perspective can significantly accelerate our path to success. We will discuss the importance of creativity and innovation in our work. These factors allow us to find new solutions to complex problems and stand out in a competitive market. Finally, we will conclude with the importance of integrity and self-discipline. These are fundamental for building a career and life based on solid principles that will guide us to long-term success. This episode is specially designed to provide you with the tools and motivation needed to achieve your dreams. Join me in this inspiring and transformative conversation where every minute promises to accelerate your progress towards success. Get ready for a session full of valuable insights that could change the course of your professional and personal life. Making a good impression in work and in life is the first thing we will talk about on this way to success. The way we act can have a big effect on how other people see us and by extension, the chances that come our way. We will talk about how to build an image that shows how professional, skilled, and ethical we are. Looking good is an important part of having a good image but it's not the only thing that matters. It has to do with how you show off your personal brand every time you talk to someone online or off. Your clothes, body language, and how you talk on the phone all send a message about who you are and what you stand for. First, let's talk about how they look. Dressing professionally and correctly for your job can make you feel better about your self-worth and boost your confidence. You don't need expensive clothes to look clean and professional. All you need are clothes that are well taken care of and fit well. Also, small things like a good haircut, well-groomed personal appearance, and understated items can make your whole look better. Beyond appearance, your body language has a significant impact on how others perceive you. An upright posture, firm eye contact, and a warm smile are essential for conveying confidence and approachability. These nonverbal cues can make people feel more comfortable around you, facilitating better relationships and more effective communications. Regarding communication, Clarity and courtesy should never be underestimated. Whether you are drafting an email or participating in a meeting, choose your words carefully. Being clear, concise, and respectful in all your communications reinforces an image of professionalism and consideration. Also remember the importance of active listening. Showing that you value the ideas and opinions of others not only improves communication, but also strengthens your professional relationships. Additionally, in the digital age, your online presence is an extension of your professional image. Ensure that your social media and professional profiles are updated and reflect your skills, experience, and professionalism. A coherent and professional online presence can be a powerful channel for job opportunities. Consistency is also vital. Being consistent in how you present yourself and act in different situations and platforms builds a solid and reliable personal brand. If people know what to expect from you, they are more likely to trust you and consider you for important opportunities. Lastly, you shouldn't give up being real for an image. If you want to give off a good impression, make sure that it's a true picture of who you are and what you stand for. Being honest and real builds trust and respect, and it's a must for business relationships that last. 
Creating a positive image is something you can do on purpose to not only change how other people see you, but it will also help you move up in your job and personal life. After talking about how a positive image can change how we think and deal with problems, it is important to talk about another foundational pillar, ongoing education. This has been shown before, but it's worth seeing again. Today, information and knowledge are very important. So learning new things all the time is not just a choice, it's a must. But how can we make sure that we keep learning in our daily lives so that we not only stay in our jobs, but also do well in them? To begin, it's important to know that ongoing education is more than just taking classes or going to seminars. It's about having a mindset and a never-ending commitment to growth in your personal and work life. That means seeing every task, job, and experience as a chance to learn something new. The key here is curiosity. Maintaining a curious mind is what pushes you to ask questions, explore, and not settle for what you already know. Curiosity is the spark that ignites the pursuit of new knowledge and skills. In today's world, this pursuit is more accessible than ever thanks to technology. For example, there are online learning platforms that offer courses in virtually any imaginable field, many of which are available for free or at a very low cost. However, continuous education is not just about accumulating knowledge. It is about applying it effectively in the real world. For example, if you learn a new technical skill, seek ways to apply it in your current or future projects. If you acquire new knowledge in your field, share these learnings with your peers or professional network. This not only reinforces what you have learned, but also establishes you as a thought leader in your area, opening doors to new opportunities and collaborations. Also, it's important to make learning goals that are clear. Check out what you need to get to the next level in your job. When you have clear goals, you can plan your learning better and make sure that every hour you spend on school really does help you. Learning soft skills like good conversation, leadership, and time management is also an important part of continuing education. These skills are highly valued in all fields and will help you make the most of your job. For example, learning how to easily and convincingly explain your ideas can help you get into leadership positions. On the other hand, being good at managing your time can make you more productive and let you take on bigger projects. Education is an ongoing process of change and growth that not only gets you ready for the problems you face now, but also gives you the tools to predict and shape the future. As we continue on our path to speed up success, we move on to another important pillar, skill growth. Today, the competition is fierce and the demands of the job market are constantly evolving. Therefore, the ability to improve and expand our skills is more crucial than ever. But how can we do this effectively? First, we must recognize that skill development is an ongoing process that goes hand in hand with continuous education. It's not just about learning something new once and stopping there. It's about constant improvement and adaptation to new technologies, processes, and methodologies. In this context, it is essential to establish a personalized skill development plan. Identify the key skills you need to advance in your career or to enter a new field. Take inventory of your current skills and compare them with those required for your long-term goals. This analysis will help you identify the areas where you need to improve or learn something entirely new. Once you are clear on which skills need development, seek resources that will help you learn efficiently. Online classes, workshops, books, podcasts, and other things could be part of this. You might also want to get certifications that show companies and coworkers that you have the skills they need. But getting more skills isn't just about getting more certificates. It's about putting what you've learned into practice in your daily work. This is where learning by doing comes in handy. Real life experience is the best way to learn new things and using your new skills in real world projects can be very rewarding. It's important to look for chances to use what you are learning, whether it's through personal projects, volunteering, or taking on more responsibility at work. This not only helps you remember what you've learned, but it also gives you the chance to get feedback and criticism that are important for your growth. Furthermore, skill development also involves an element of feedback and reflection. Seek mentors or colleagues who can provide constructive feedback on your progress. Feedback is a powerful tool that can help you adjust your learning and continuously improve your performance. Don't be afraid to ask for opinions or even critiques. These are golden opportunities for personal and professional growth. At this point, it is important to mention resilience and perseverance. 
Developing new skills can be challenging and sometimes frustrating. There will be moments when you feel like you are not making progress or even regressing. However, it is crucial to maintain a positive attitude and see each setback as an opportunity to learn and improve. Perseverance is not only necessary to overcome challenges, but is a skill in itself that you can cultivate. As you continue developing your skills, don't forget to look towards the future. Stay abreast of emerging trends in your field and start preparing for the skills that will be in demand tomorrow. Anticipation and preparation can give you a significant advantage and open up new opportunities that may not yet exist. Skill development is a journey that requires curiosity, planning, practical application, feedback, and above all, perseverance. By committing to this continuous process, you not only improve your abilities, but also expand your potential for success in all areas of your life. Now let's talk about another important thing that will help us become more successful and make more friends faster. Because of how connected the world is, making and keeping a strong network of professional ties is not only helpful, it's necessary. But how can we successfully and honestly make more contacts? Let's look at some important tips that will help you make a network that will last. Make sure you know what a network is worth first. You never know who you might meet, who could help you with your job, or even become a client, coworker, or even mentor. People we know can often help us get what we want. So having a large and varied network can lead to opportunities that you might not have found otherwise. This might seem like a hard way to start growing your network, but all you have to do is get active. Take part in meetings, workshops, seminars, and events in your area. Today, many of these activities are also available in virtual formats, allowing you to connect with people from around the world from the comfort of your home. When participating in these events, adopt a mindset of giving before receiving. Instead of thinking about what you can gain from others, consider what you can offer. It could be your knowledge, your experience, or even your time. This attitude not only makes you more attractive as a professional contact, but also establishes a foundation of reciprocity and trust from the beginning. Another important aspect is quality over quantity. While it may be tempting to try to connect with as many people as possible, deeper and more meaningful connections often come from well-cultivated relationships. Take the time to really get to know people. Listen to their needs and goals, and think about how you can support them. This can be as simple as sharing a relevant article, making a helpful introduction, or offering your advice in an area of your expertise. It is also vital to stay in touch and nurture the relationships you already have. Expanding your network is not just about meeting new people. It is also crucial to maintain and deepen existing connections. A simple follow-up message after an encounter can work wonders. Ask them how they are doing, remind them that you are there to help, and keep the relationship alive. Finally, keep in mind that networking is an ongoing process. Adding this to your work routine should be a normal thing you do, not just when you need to. People who put time and effort into building and keeping up their networks are setting themselves up for success, which is based on both who you know and what you know. As we continue our podcast on how to speed up our personal and business success, we will now talk about something very important, managing our money. Being in charge of our money not only makes us feel safe, but it also lets us take advantage of chances that can help our jobs and make our lives better. Let's talk about how to handle our money well so that we can have a stable and successful future. First, it is essential to understand that financial management is not just about saving money, but about making informed decisions on how to earn, spend, invest, and protect your resources. Start with creating a detailed budget that reflects your income and expenses. Should serve as a map guiding your daily financial decisions, helping you avoid unnecessary expenses and maximize your savings. However, Effective financial management goes beyond just maintaining a budget. It involves long-term planning. Set clear financial goals, both short-term and long-term, which could include objectives like buying a house, funding your continuing education, or securing an emergency fund sufficient to cover at least six months of expenses. With these clear goals, you can develop strategies to achieve them, such as investing in financial instruments that offer good returns or reducing high interest debts. Investment is another crucial aspect of financial management. Investing your savings wisely can significantly increase your wealth over time. Educating yourself about different investment options, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or real estate, is vital. Consider talking to a financial advisor who can offer personalized guidance based on your financial goals and risk tolerance. It's also important to protect your possessions. Having enough insurance, like life, health, and property insurance, is part of this. 
Not only do these protect your money from bad luck, but they also give you peace of mind so you can focus on your goals without worrying about losing all your money. Also, it's important to know about online banking security in this day and age. It is more important than ever to keep your accounts and investments safe from fraud now that more and more activities are being done online. Follow safety tips like using strong passwords, checking your bank, and investment account security settings and keeping an eye out for anything that seems fishy. It is also important to look over and make changes to your financial plan on a daily basis. Things that worked for you a year ago might not work for you now. At least once a year, look over your financial plans to make sure they still help you reach your present and future goals. This could mean making changes to your investments, the way you spend your money, or even your financial goals. We now know that good money handling is more than just adding up numbers. It's a mindful process of making choices that help you reach your life goals over time. By taking charge of your money, you not only protect your financial health, but you also give yourself the freedom to take smart risks that can take your work and personal life to new heights. To accelerate our progress toward success, it is essential to maintain effective work habits. Developing and maintaining good routines not only increases our productivity, but also enhances our job satisfaction and overall well-being. Let's discover how we can establish and maintain habits that transform our efficiency. Effective work habits begin with good organization. This involves both time management and workspace management. Start with time. Using a planner or a task management app can be a game changer. Plan your day so that you prioritize tasks based on their importance and urgency. Tackling the most challenging or least attractive task first can free you from procrastination and give you an energy boost by completing it early. As for the workspace, keeping an orderly environment can significantly reduce distractions and improve your concentration. Invest time in creating a space that is not only functional but also inspiring. This could include having a comfortable chair, adequate lighting, and perhaps personal items that motivate you such as photos of loved ones or a plant. Communication is also a key part of having good work habits. When you talk to someone at work, being clear and to the point can help avoid mistakes and make relationships better. Actively listening and showing understanding will not only help you talk to people better, but it will also help you make friends at work. Being flexible is another good work habit. Being flexible and eager to keep learning are very useful skills in a job market that changes quickly. This could mean getting used to new tools or ways of working, or it could mean adjusting to changes in your projects or team. Setting clear boundaries between work and personal life is also important for keeping a good balance. This is very important now that many people work from home, where the lines between work and home can become fuzzy. Setting a clear start and end time for your job and sticking to it so you have time for rest and personal tasks is important for your long-term performance. It's also important to keep looking at your work habits. This means that you have to keep an eye on your success and change your methods as needed. Getting feedback from coworkers and bosses can help you figure out how to do better. This process of constantly thinking about things and making changes will help you keep your skills and methods sharp. Last but not least, keep in mind that creating good work habits takes time and effort. If you run into problems at first, don't give up. Persistence is key. And with each small change you implement, you will be one step closer to achieving your professional and personal goals. By integrating these habits into your daily routine, you not only improve your efficiency, but also prepare yourself to face challenges more effectively and with greater confidence. Continuing with the fundamentals to accelerate success, it is essential to talk about the power of maintaining a positive attitude. An optimistic mindset not only enhances your work performance, but also amplifies your ability to face challenges and transform opportunities into successes. Now let's explore how to cultivate and sustain this positive attitude. A positive attitude starts with self-perception and self-talk. What you say to yourself has a profound impact on how you feel and act. Practicing self-affirmation can be a powerful method to reinforce a positive self-image. Take time each day to affirm your strengths and achievements. Something as simple as starting the day by telling yourself, today will be a great day, or I am capable of handling any challenge, can set the tone for a productive and positive day. Also, showing thanks is a very effective way to spread happiness. When you think about what you have instead of what you don't have, your mood and happiness with life easily improve. Every night, think about three things you're thankful for from the day. One simple habit can change the way you look at things and help you see problems as chances to learn and grow. Being resilient is another important part of having a good mood. When things go wrong, don't let them bring you down. Instead, use them as opportunities to grow as a person and in your career. Everything you do wrong can teach you something, 
and it's important to learn from your mistakes. Don't be afraid of failing. Instead, be curious about it. What can I learn from this is something you should ask yourself. Surrounding yourself with good things is also very important. The people you spend the most time with have a big effect on how you feel. Make friends with people who motivate, encourage, and push you to grow, and keep those friends. If you're around people who are negative, be brave enough to set limits and look for better places that are good for your health. Staying physically active also plays a significant role in maintaining a positive mindset. Regular exercise not only improves your physical health, but also releases endorphins, the happiness hormones, which naturally elevate your mood. Even a brisk walk during the day can help you reset your mind and return to work with a refreshed and optimistic perspective. Lastly, adaptability is key to maintaining a positive attitude in an ever-changing environment. Being flexible and open to new approaches allows you to handle changes with grace and see change as an opportunity rather than a threat. This adaptability not only makes you more pleasant to work with, but also positions you as an effective leader in times of uncertainty. By integrating these elements into your daily life, you will be better equipped to face challenges and attract more success and satisfaction. Maintaining a positive attitude is a conscious choice that requires practice and dedication. By committing to cultivating a positive perspective, you are laying the foundation for a more fulfilling life. Remember to be creative if you want a better future and to get ahead faster on your way to success. First, know that being curious is what makes you creative. To keep your mind creative, you need to keep your interest alive. Being open to new information, different points of view, and questions is what this means. Being curious forces you to break out of your routine and question the way things are, which is important for creative thought. Brainstorming is a good way to bring out your imagination. Anyone can use this process, not just people in a group. Set aside time every day to think about a problem or project without any restrictions and write down all the ideas that come to mind, even if they seem crazy. Putting aside your judgment and letting your creativity run freely is the key here. You can think about and improve these ideas later. Making a setting that encourages creativity is another important part of encouraging it. This could mean setting up your workspace in a way that makes you feel good and gives you ideas. Add things that make you feel creative, like plants, art, music, or anything else that inspires you. Also make sure that this area doesn't have any distractions that could stop you from thinking creatively. Having a wide range of situations is also a key part of becoming more creative. Get out of your comfort zone and do things that aren't typical for you. This could include traveling to new places, trying new foods, learning a new language or hobby, or simply changing your usual route to work. Every new experience is an opportunity to see the world differently which can inspire innovative ideas. Moreover, collaborating with others can be tremendously beneficial for creativity. Interacting with people who have different skills, backgrounds, and viewpoints can generate ideas you might never have considered on your own. Join work groups or communities, both online and in person, where you can share ideas and receive feedback. This exchange of ideas can not only inspire creativity, but also open up collaboration opportunities that could take your projects to new heights. We cannot forget the importance of rest. In the creative process, the brain needs time to recharge and make connections. Ensure you take regular breaks during your work days and do not underestimate the value of a good night's sleep. Often, the most creative ideas come when we least expect them, such as after a period of rest or relaxation. Finally, keep in mind that being creative is a skill that can be learned. It will become easier to think effectively as you do it more often. Push yourself to think in new ways, break old habits, and be open to new ideas all the time. As we wrap up our look at things that can help us get ahead faster, it's important to talk about two essentials for long-term growth and good leadership, honesty and self-discipline. Both are important traits that will make you a better person and help you build your work reputation. Let's talk about how these traits can change the way you work and how you can improve them. People often say that having integrity means always doing the right thing even when no one is looking. Colleagues, clients, and leaders in any field will trust and respect someone with this trait. Being honest with yourself and others is the first step toward integrity. Keeping your promises and agreements is another step. In the business world, this means meeting goals for work while maintaining a high level of quality and being honest and fair in your interactions with others. Developing integrity also involves consistently making ethical decisions. This can be challenging, especially in situations where taking shortcuts might seem beneficial in the short term. However, maintaining your ethical principles is not only crucial for your personal growth, but also builds a solid foundation for long-lasting and trustworthy work relationships. 
In moments of decision, ask yourself if your choice reflects your core values and consider how your actions would affect your reputation if they were made public. This perspective will help you maintain a course of integrity. Self-discipline, on the other hand, is what allows you to stay on track towards your goals, overcoming temptations and distractions that arise along the way. It is the ability to regulate your actions, emotions, and thoughts to improve your effectiveness and achieve your long-term goals. Self-discipline is essential for any professional aspiring to achieve and sustain success. It involves establishing a routine and structure in your life that supports your goals, managing your time effectively, and being mindful of your priorities. Setting clear goals and putting in place methods that track your progress is a good way to develop self-discipline. Split your big goals into smaller, more manageable jobs and give yourself reasonable due dates for each one. Remember to celebrate the little wins along the way as they can give you more drive to keep going. Also, habits make self-discipline stronger. So try to keep your focus even on days when you don't get much done. Also, it's important to learn how to deal with delay, which is a common problem that can make you lose your self-discipline. The five minute rule is a useful tool. If you think a job is too big, promise to work on it for five minutes. Taking the first step is often all it takes to get going and keep working. Finally, you can improve your ethics and self-discipline by regularly thinking about how your actions fit with your values and goals. Every week, take some time to think about the choices and actions you've been making. Check to see if you're living by your values and make changes as needed. By being honest and self-disciplined, you not only become a better professional, but you also set a good example for others and build an image that will help you get jobs in the future. We've reached the end of our show on the basics of speeding up our success. During our conversation, we've talked about a number of important issues that not only help our jobs, but also make our personal lives better. Every subject, from how we present a good image to honesty and self-control, has been an important part of building a successful and satisfying path. Let's reflect on what we have learned. We began with the importance of a positive image, which taught us the value of first impressions and how the way we present ourselves can open doors. We then reviewed continuous education and how a commitment to lifelong learning prepares us to adapt and thrive in a constantly changing world. Following that, we delved into skill development, highlighting that mastery in our area of expertise can propel us to new heights. The expansion of contacts reminded us that relationships are often the foundation upon which meaningful opportunities are built. We talked about financial management, a pillar that ensures our security and freedom, allowing us to make decisions from a position of strength. Effective work habits were revealed as the engine of our daily productivity, while a positive mental attitude was the key to overcoming obstacles and facing challenges with optimism. Creativity became an important tool for coming up with new ideas and fixing problems, showing that people who can think outside the box are the ones who drive change. The last two traits we talked about were honesty and self-control. These are important for earning and keeping other people's trust and staying true to our long-term goals and values. By putting these lessons into practice, we not only get ready to reach our goals faster, but we also create a space that values honesty, respect, and excellence. Every step we take to improve these areas makes our road to bigger, more important goals stronger. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this series. I hope that the talks have been both educational and motivating, and that the tools that were shared will help you on your own paths to success. Remember that progress is an ongoing process and that each day brings a new chance to learn, get better, and move forward. Please let me know how these ideas are changing your life. Please share your thoughts and stories in the space below. The real test of how valuable these talks are is how useful your stories are. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future shows that will continue to talk about important topics for our personal and professional growth. Thanks for hearing. Until then, keep going after your dreams, keep growing, and most of all, keep striving. Uh, 